I really want this world filled with Reiki practitioners because Reiki is all about love. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly Padgett and I'm really excited that you're here with me today because just wanting to stop in here and talk a little bit briefly about what's involved in a Reiki level one and level two training. I will be conducting my next class online via Zoom Saturday and Sunday, May 20th and 21st. And I'm really excited about this training. I'm, I always am. I love Reiki because Reiki has helped me so much in my life. And over the 11 years that I've been working, 10, 11 years that I have been practicing and teaching Reiki, it really has given me an anchor in the world. It has given me a spiritual practice. It has given me confidence. It has helped me ride the waves of life in so many ways. It's helped me let go, clear energy blocks. It, it's really helped me shift my life, my my perception, my focus. And I just really want to share that with others because I really want this world filled with Reiki practitioners because Reiki practitioners we are love because Reiki is all about love and kindness and compassion. And when we have those traits in ourselves and we, we shift ourselves, we can help shift the world. Now, there's a lot of different reasons and ways uh, to use Reiki. You don't necessarily have to become a teacher. You don't necessarily have to learn Reiki to see clients. If, you're only, if your intention really is just to gain a better understanding of the energy, energetic world, then a Reiki training is for you. You can bring Reiki into anything that you're doing. If you're an artist, you can produce and create art with Reiki. You can, if you are a nurse or a doctor, I love people that are in that kind of role in life because put Reiki on top of it, <laughs> it it's miracles can happen. If you're a counselor, if you're a therapist, if you're anyone in the holistic wellness, if you're a yoga practitioner, Reiki is just that added tool that can, that just can really give you that. It's almost like really having wise and really confident, you know, co-creator oh, right alongside you. And it just makes life so much better. So out on my website, heartfulwayreiki.com, I do have a beautiful blog post, A Path to Healing Reiki Level 1 and Level 2 Training. Uh, it gives you the essence of what you're going to be learning in the two-day training. Uh, I invite you to go out there and explore this uh, blog post and really get just see if maybe this, you know, and ask yourself, is this training right for me? For me? Is this training right with Kelly? Uh, again, I've been practicing and teaching Reiki since 2011. I continually feed my mind, my body, and my soul with uh, spiritual information. I'm constantly reading books and going to courses and classes in, in to make myself better. And we're already perfect. I'm just going through the layers and letting go of the bull crap, you know, I, false beliefs. And I bring a lot of that strategy and those tools of meditation and yoga philosophy and life coaching skills into my Reiki classes. It has a really cool and a really great synergy 
because it gives the student more to work from and with as they leave the class. Because you go to this two-day training and it's not, that's your learning <laughs> isn't over with. That's just the start of the, of the point where you start to, to evolve and shift. Reiki is a practice that can be done 24-7. I didn't practice it that way or know about it that way in the beginning, but it evolved for me into that. Uh, I follow a Reiki master who talks about Reiki as a lifestyle and Reiki on the fly. And when I heard that, it just resonated with me and I started to incorporate Reiki into my own life into this way. And that's how I like to teach. I like to teach people that, but I also like to talk about the spiritual side, the meditation, um, and how to connect spiritually and with your own energy throughout the class. So the Reiki level one, and this is where, this is the first step in a Reiki class. And what you're learning in Reiki level one is you're learning the history of Reiki with the founder of the Reiki that we know it is Makao Usui. How it started and then how it evolved. We'll learn about the first teachers of Reiki and how their styles and how it evolved the system of Reiki of how we see it today. We get a attunement and what that is it's a way that the energy is transferred from and it goes through teacher and is passed down to the student and the student's energetic centers are then open. It's like sparking the Reiki energy within the student. During this process, the student goes through a shift in a lot of their own healing. We do a healing meditation in this Reiki level one class as well. And then we learn the importance of of doing self Reiki and the hand positions for Reiki and healing the self because it is so important that we start with ourselves in our healing because until our cups are full we cannot help other people so when we're running on empty we have nothing to give so first we have to fill ourselves up and then we learn the hand positions working on family, friends. I'll jump forward to Reiki level two. Reiki level two, that's when we incorporate the symbols. There's three symbols we'll learn. We have Reiki. another healing meditation and it's a little bit deeper, more healing, more transforming. We go through another attunement process and this is to place energy, more of the Reiki energy I feel like it's just like another layer. I think that every attunement process, we become more and more open to the universal life force energy. And that's so in Reiki level two, we get three symbols. And for me, the symbols act as a way of focusing my meditation and helps me stay focused. They carry a quality or an essence that we so they carry that so when we start to intend and work with those symbols that energy is behind the symbol and we can stay focused on that energy when we learn the reiki symbols one of them is the distance symbol and this helps to empower and for us to send reiki the reiki energy forward in time over distance and even backwards in time. And it's why I was so drawn to learn Reiki level two. Because there I learned the symbols. And I wanted to send Reiki at a distance for distance healing. In Reiki level two, we also start to learn advanced techniques. And here we start to see uh, some of the Eastern or Japanese methods of doing Reiki. So we send Reiki with our eyes. We send Reiki with our breath. 
Uh, we do biosin scanning to where we hone in and we can start to feel the subtle energy bodies of uh, whoever we're working on or maybe even ourselves and we can see where we have disrupted energy where does the reiki want to go and then we learn that in level two so we learn we go through techniques with surrogates which is oftentimes a teddy bear that's how we work with distance reiki session a lot of times if i'm doing a reiki session over zoom i will hold on to my surrogate my little teddy bear also at Reiki level two, we contend to our emotional and mental landscape and we learn to navigate that landscape with the art of Reiki and bringing it in into our everyday life. Reiki lives. level two actually deepens our connection to Reiki energy. So in Reiki level one and Reiki level two, those are the stepping stones to our journey with Reiki. It doesn't stop there. We are sent off and we are instructed to practice daily. We have the Reiki precepts, uh, which is a the healing power of inviting Reiki in every single day. Because Makao Usui, his teachings were based on when we can heal our minds, our whole world can be transformed and their healing of our physical bodies and any ailments starts here within our minds. So if we connect to Reiki every day with the intention of healing ourselves and healing our mind, we can bring that energy out in the world. I'm really excited to share these concepts, the tools, the techniques of practicing Reiki with you and helping you expand your life and expand your world. And I'm looking for more Reiki practitioners, more light in the world, because I know with more and more people that are centered and focused in this practice, the more peace and love and harmony that we can have on this planet. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I will drop the link to my training down in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at kelly at heartfullyreiki.com. I would love to schedule a free discovery call with you. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.